tonight, a warning about crooks posing as utility workers hitting you where you're most vulnerable at home. Two men are on the run after police say they pretended to work for Connecticut Water, then robbed a homeowner. Yeah, neighbors in Thomaston are on edge tonight, but this could happen anywhere. News Ace Bob Wilson explains the very strategic way these fake utility workers are getting into homes and how to avoid becoming a victim. It's scary, but it's sad. It's sad that somebody, you know, has to do that, especially this time of year. Thomaston is a quaint little town. The Christmas lights are all out, but as the holiday ramps up, so do the burglaries, and this is a new twist on an old scam. A woman let two men posing as Connecticut Water Company employees in Thomaston into her home. One kept her occupied in the basement while the other rummaged through the house. Though this time, to make it look official, they kept the woman guessing and they used radios. And they were actually talking to each other on a two-way uh, two walkie-talkie. So one distracted her why they basically uh, went through the top of the house and then they more or less, they flip-flopped. They stole a substantial amount of cash and valuables from the house. The Connecticut Water Company says their employees will always have ID badges. You want to look for a water company logo on a truck outside and water company employees will not come to the door to collect payments. What would you do if, if somebody knocked on the door and said, hey, water company? No, I, I'd make sure I saw the ID, and even then I'd, I'd be wearing. And another tip, if you do have a service call scheduled, you can call the water company, and they can send you an actual photo of the employee that's going to be showing up on your front doorstep to do that service. That way you can have the photo on hand. When they knock on the door, you can match the photo with the actual worker. That way you feel safe to let them in. When in doubt, police say you can always keep the door closed and call 911. Don't allow them access. Immediately call the police department. Even if they are, in fact, an employee, that they're going to understand. Contact us. We'll come out. We'll verify. Officer Dealey says it doesn't have to happen in Thomaston. It can happen anywhere in Connecticut. And it doesn't have to be the water company. It can be electric, gas, or other employees. Just check for their IDs, and when in doubt, let them know. In Thomaston, Bob Wilson, News 8.